Hi everyone, a very very good morning. Me Kamaljeet Kaur Soni, a chartered accountant, a corporate fraud investigator, a AML specialist, been into industry for over two decades now. I'm here today with all of you to explain the basic details of a very very popular exam called CAMS, Certified Anti-Money Laundering Certification. People who are looking forward to have a career in anti-money laundering or fraud investigation, they generally uh, seek this particular certification called CAMS, a widely recognized, very very popular certification, and something which is very beneficial for people who are really looking forward to have career and support the entire world in the fight against money laundering, a crime which is not just a financial crime but has a very close linkage with terrorism now before we talk about what camps structure exam structure is the basic detail about camps first let's understand the governing body so the governing body for camps exam is called a camps this is association of certified anti money laundering specialist a body which is known to provide a certification courses in sanctions money laundering and similar domain these certifications are widely recognized across the globe so it does not matter which part of the world you belong to these are the certification which are globally recognized so far the association has over 40000 members worldwide who are specialized into anti money laundering sanctions and related fields this is the body which governs your certification called camps a camps do have other certification also but camps exam remain one of the most popular certification a camps uh, provide let's understand the exam pattern so first the best part of this exam is that the exams are online and on demand many of you who are working may not be very sure as to when can you give the exam you know sometime we get stuck with our personal and professional issues and we really don't know when are we going to sit for exam so this exams gives you a flexibility to book the exam which is convenient to you so that is the exams are online and on demand it is a computer based paper you don't need to go to any other country and give this exam it is computer based exam the pattern of the question is multiple choice so you will be having questions with four choices you have to select the best answer there are approximately 120 questions which are being tested over 3 and 1/2 hours so exam time is 210 minutes that is 3 and 1/2 hours you have to finish your 120 questions which are multiple choice questions over 3 and 1/2 hours when we give the exam the first question comes to each one of us is how much is a passing percentage so passing percentage here is 62.5% or roughly you have to score over 75 out of 120 so let's say that if one question is being awarded one mark that means 120 question and 120 marks paper you have to score 75 marks to pass that so don't just aim 75 marks aim 120 marks then probably will be able to score 75 and one of the best part of this exam is no negative marking so my strong recommendation even if you do not know the answer please take it put it hand here and say oh a b c d a b c d and take it anyways you were going to leave this question but why to leave you never know your answer may be right so the best part is that we should prepare for the exam really well but god forbid if you don't know that answer even then attempt it <clears throat> that's my strong recommendation because there is no penalty for wrong marks what are the contents so these are the broad contents which is available on a camps website as well they have a very wide coverage on law what is the role of financial action task force 
how does uh, banks do customer due diligence enhanced due diligence and one of the very sought after uh, content in kems is about the sanction part as well as what is the real role of aml officers in the organization camps has more coverage on the compliance part that is where each time we have to really go through the compliance of related to money laundering camps uh, gives you a very practical coverage on it so these are some of the content which are being tested but as every exam has then comes the continuing education so in most of the professional certification you have to go through the continuous uh, upgradation because this is a field where the knowledge needs to be absolutely dynamic money launderers no longer uses older technique when they do not use older technique we have to equip ourselves with the latest techniques that's the objective of having continuous professional education so even camps ask you to go for continuous professional education every year you have to finish the cpv hours then comes recertification there are many certification available in the market where no recertifications may be required but camps have a recertification and let me tell you why why do they want it some of us might think it as a as one of the pain that we have to study again give the exam again but trust me guys this is important for us if we will not go through such recertification our knowledge may not be as updated as it should be this is a field of investigation and when we talk about frauds when we talk about crime our knowledge has to be absolutely dynamic and updated so it's important that we go for recertification however in order to go for recertification there are certain thing which needs to be done one that every 3 year you have to get your camps certification renewed for that you have to maintain your membership with a camps on regular basis second you have to finish your cpv hours and then once you are ready for recertification you have to fill up that online form pay the required fees and appear for recertification as i said it's good for us because our knowledge should match with the market dynamics then the question which always uh, is there on our mind that how much is the fees involved each time we think about any course of course because we have to budget for it we have to plan and then then we appear for the exam so yes the exam fee detail is equally important the exam fee which includes the study material is 1995 dollars there are variation of uh, this package available so you can visit to acams website there are different pricing mentioned this is a retail pricing the pricing for public sector is slightly different and then they have two different type of packages for student you can always check the fee so this is a basic fees for examination and this 
also include the complete study material which a camps provide if you purchase the virtual classroom bundle then the pricing goes slightly up and it is $2395 this is us dollars the virtual classroom bundle also include some interactive sessions so the detail again is available on camps website recertification cost is 250 us dollars which you have to pay at the time of recertification so that's the fee structure for the exam that is the basic detail of camps exam a certification which is which is very good in terms of content in terms of recognition also a certification which gives us a very practical knowledge on how to deal with money laundering so that was a small video just to explain the exam structure in my coming video i will also be discussing the content of camps exam what are the questions which are relatively more important and how should we prepare for the exam so with this thank you so much for watching me and please subscribe to my channel capit solutions for more video thank you so much have a good day ahead